How can you configure enhanced conversions for Google Ads with Pixel Your Site? I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. In this video, I will show you how you can enable enhanced conversion tracking using our plugin. But first of all, what is enhanced conversion? Well, basically you allowed Google to track um, additional information about the person that fires the conversion. And they will use that information to uh, understand who is the person that fired um, a particular event which represents a conversion. Uh, it's something that Meta has as well, it's called advanced matching. So if you know what advanced matching is, is a similar thing to, to what Google calls enhanced conversions. There is a difference, Meta does it for all events, Google does it for conversions. So that's it. How can you enable enhanced conversions? First of all, you need to enable it on the Google send. So when you create a conversion inside Google Ads, you need to check a box. I think it's checked by default when you create a new conversion now. Uh, we will see because we will, um, I will show you exact the exact process of creating a conversion later on in the video. Uh, for now, I already have a, a conversion here in my account, this one. Um, it's supposed to fire when a purchase WooCommerce event takes place. So it tracks uh, WooCommerce transactions and enhanced conversions are fine. Go to settings here, and this is the checkbox I was uh, referring previously. So if you already have conversions inside your Google Ads account, check this part, make sure it's on. If it's on, you need to uh, go inside your Pixel Your Site plugin on the main page, Google Ads, and make sure that this option is also turned on because we need to send some uh, additional data with the tag in order for Google to accept conversion data and to detect conversion data. If you have all uh, both options on, uh, we automatically send enhanced conversion data for WooCommerce transactions for login orders, uh, for, sorry, for login traffic. So if a conversion event is fired by a, a user that is logged in, we will send the data that we have about that user. It's usually the email, maybe the name. And for easy digital downloads transactions. Easy digital downloads, it's a plugin similar to WooCommerce. If you don't know about it, no problem. So doesn't matter. However, uh, there is also something extra that you can configure with Pixel Your Site. You can send additional enhanced conversion data for people that submitted a form. How does it work? Uh, we detect the data in the form and we um, send it to Google or allow Google to get it. This can be improved with a few additional settings because forms um, can be done by various plugins. We don't know the format of the form, so we need some additional options. They are similar to um, the options that we need for um, EMQ related data for Meta Conversion API event. So if you have that set up in place, you don't need to worry. Otherwise, just watch this video and uh, I will explain exactly how you can improve conversion uh, tracking and sending enhanced conversion data for Google Ads. I have a form on my website, this one. This is a contact form, uh, generated form. Contact form, it's a popular WordPress plugin. It's free, it's, it has millions of downloads. That's why I use it in my videos, it's easier. I also have a, a forminator here, a form created for my demo website, um, but it, the process is the same. What you need is to go here on the main page of Pixel Your Site and in this section, Advanced User Data Detection, you need to add the field's names. So first name, if it's present in the form, let's see. I don't have a first name, I just have your name. So I will use this field. Right click, inspect. Now you'll, you'll be able to see the name here. So it's your name. This is the 
field name. Let's see if I have it. I have it. It's uh, by default here because again, it's a common uh, field name used by contact form seven and we add it automatically. If it's not here, just type, start to type like my new name. Okay. So pay or simply copy the, the field name from the browser console and paste it here. So I have it. Last name is not present in the form. So we will skip this part and phone. Okay. Let's see the phone. Where is it? your phone inspect? And uh, okay, this is the field name. Copy. I don't have it, so paste. And now save. Email is detected by default because we can detect emails, uh, f fields for emails. They have a particular setup, so uh, the forms should use the correct format and uh, we will detect it automatically. This is the correct format for uh, an email field most forms uh, do it this way. So you don't need to map it. Okay, I saved the new setup. So now the plugin will be able to detect and to map the, the data submitted by a person that sends that form. Okay, that's step one. Step, uh, no, actually that's step two because step one is to uh, enable this option. It's for WooCommerce as well, but for uh, people submitting the form. Um, two. Now, the next thing I want to show you is uh, how to create a conversion. Goals summary. I already have two conversions, but let's create a new one. Website. Add manually. Uh, submit lead form because I will use the form that I show you for this conversion. No value. And this is the option. It's on by default. Just make sure it's there and done. Now save and continue. See event snippet here. This is the uh, conversion label that you need to copy. But in order to copy, you need to download this. Open. And copy the label from here. Make sure you copy just the label, nothing else. Now this label, we will create um, a new event inside Pixel Your Site. This is the events page. This event will fire when the contact form seven is submitted. So the trigger is contact form seven and I can select which form will fire the event. I don't know the form ID right now. I don't want to look for it. So I will select both forms that are configured in my website on my website. And I will enable this for Google tags just for, um, Google um, ads tag or destination. I can also send it to, to my GA4, Google Analytics, but I don't want in this case. And this is where I can place my label. Now, if this event has a label, Google will know that this is a conversion. So let's use the same name. This is a custom event, so I can uh, use what name I want, but I can also select from a, a very long list of predefined events. So uh, with this setup, I will have an event with a conversion label. So a conversion fired every time my contact form seven is submitted. And because I have this option turn on, enable enhanced conversions on pixel your site. And because I have uh, the conversion uh, configured with enhanced conversion turned on on Google side, and because I mapped the forms feed correctly, Pixel Your Site will be able to send um, enhanced conversion data. And how can you test it? Let's open this page in a new incognito window. Tag Assistant. 
tagassistant.google.com is the tool you can use to test your events at domain. A new page opens and uh, privacy, okay, allow. And now I will just submit my send. Mm, this field, okay, sorry. Good. And let's see. This is the Google Ads ID. And do we have a conversion? Yes, we do. We have the event recorded here. And uh, this event fired a conversion. For some reason, Google shows two conversions. They're not two conversions. It's just, I assume, a Google Tag Assistant bug. So ignore it. There is only one event fired. And we have the conversion label. All is good. Now, let's see if we have this. Yeah, we do. You need to have this EM parameter here when uh, it's present when enhanced conversion data is received by Google. So if you have this, you know that um, Google tracked enhanced conversion data correctly. After a while, um, the conversion will be uh, the, the conversion will show that uh, enhanced conversion data works, but not immediately. You need to give it some time for Google to uh, report uh, all this stuff to you. So that's it. I hope the video is not, I hope the video is not too long. Uh, maybe it's a bit confusing. Let's, let's recap what you need to do. First of all, make sure that your conversion has inherent enhanced uh, conversion uh, option on settings okay you can see it's here settings on pixel your site should have this option on as well uh, that's it if you just have woocommerce so if you track woocommerce uh, orders with your conversion you don't need to do anything else however if you have forms on the website and you want to track them with a conversion, uh, map the forms field here. This is also useful for um, meta conversion API events. So do it even if you don't uh, have a conversion configured for the form. It's useful, right? So that's it. I think it's not very complex or complicated. I hope you like this video. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.